Uh, today's William McGonagall poem is uh, an interesting one. It's called A Summary History of Sir William Wallace. If your concepts of Wallace from uh, the movie, well, this is not going to agree with it too much. Of course, I don't think it agrees with history that much either. Anyway, here it is. Sir William Wallace of Ellerslie, I'm told he went to the high school in Dundee for to learn to read and write, and after that he learned to fight while at the high school in Dundee. The provost's son with him did disagree, because Wallace did wear a dirk. He despised him like an ignorant stirk, which with indignation he keenly felt, and told him it would become him better in his belt. And then Wallace's blood began to boil, just like the serpent in its coil, before it leaps upon its prey, and unto him he thus did say, Proud saucy cur, come cease your prate, for no longer shall I wait, for to hear you insult me at the high school in Dundee, for such insolence makes my heart to smart, and I'll plunge my dagger in your heart. And then his heart's blood did quickly flow, and poor Wallace did not know where to go, and he stood by him until dead, and then far from him he quickly fled, lamenting greatly the deed he'd done in murdering of the provost's son. And the scene shifts to where he was fishing one day, where three English soldiers met him by the way, and they asked him to, for to give them some fish, and from them they would make a delicious dish. But then Wallace gave them share of his fish, for to satisfy their wish. But they seemed dissatisfied with the share they got, so they were resolved to have all the lot. Then Wallace, he thought it was time to look out, when they were resolved to have all his trout. So he swung his fishing rod with great force round his head, and struck one of them a blow that killed him dead. So he instantly seized the fallen man's sword, and the other two fled without uttering a word. Sir William Wallace of Ellerslie, you were a warrior of great renown, and might have worn Scotland's crown had it not been for Monteith the base traitor knave that brought you to a premature grave. Yes, you were sold for English gold, and brought like a sheep from the fold to die upon a shameful scaffold high amidst the derisive shouts of your enemies standing by. You met your doom like a warrior bold, bearing defiance of them that had you sold, and bared your neck for the headman's stroke, and cried, Marian, dear, my heart is broke. My lovely dear, I come to thee, oh, I am longing thee to see. But the headsman was as stolid as the rock, and the axe fell heavily on the block, and the scaffold did shake with a terrible shock, as the body of noble Wallace fell, who had fought for Scotland so well. I really don't know what to say about that, other than uh, it's probably almost as accurate as uh, what Mel Gibson came up with. We'll be back tomorrow with, uh, well, something anyway. See you then.